to Divine Lady Design Studio. This is Review Weekly and today I'm actually reviewing the Open Out Box Pouch. I first come across this on uh, Facebook where one of the ladies in our group, she actually made one and posted it up and a lot of us all fell in love with it so we subsequently we got the pattern and we ran a class. The pattern comes in two sizes, uh, four, 8 inch by 4 inch by 4 inch, which is the small, and then a large, which is 9 inch by 5 inch by 5 inch. So um, this is my little sample that I made for um, the class, and it's the one that I use for my makeup bag. It is This is the large one that I've made, and you can see here that it just opens up. So you've got all this room to put all your stuff in it, and then it just closes up nice and tidy and away you go so um when i did this as a class it was a little bit tricky with some of the th aspects of the pattern and we're going to get into that now okay so the pattern was released in 2017 and it is by anna la hui and i purchased this particular pattern from the fat quarter shop and it just goes in, you can see here she's got a couple of different angles of the pouch and then she goes into the requirements uh, she she tells you how to print it off to make sure it's accurate um, and then she's just got some notes on little uh, bits and pieces that happen out throughout the pattern. She's also uh, doesn't have photographs in this pattern. It is just computer generated um, pictures, which is really good. There's no confusion then. It, they're very clear. It prints out excellent in black and white, which is what you always want. You want it to be able to be printed out in black and white. And you can see here that she just goes through step by step. There are arrows pointing to different things. Um, she actually shows you which way is the front, the back and everything like that. So it's very clear and you can't really go wrong. Um, now when we did do this in the class, uh, we all made the large one and um, subsequently one of the ladies went home and made the smaller one. She was very happy that she made the the uh, big one first because it is a little bit tricky the the zip and especially if you haven't put zips in before um, you could end up having a little bit of trouble with it but if you take it nice and slow and follow the tips that she gives you in the pattern you won't have any problem at all now you are as you noticed you are sewing on the curve and you're using an open-ended zip so she gives you um, all the tips that you need and how to install that properly and um, I followed it just it was a quick make following the instructions it was a fairly quick make I did have a little bit of um, issue with the the curve because it was this was pretty much I think the first, one of the first maybe the second one that I'd ever put a curve um, zipper in so it, it did trip me up a little bit because I don't do a lot of curved bags or anything when I make them but other than that I followed her steps and I, I was okay but as you can see it's very clearly um, set out for you so you know what you're doing um, and she's also over on Instagram so you could go and find her over there on Instagram the templates are um, easy to print off and it's got everything uh, that you need to cut out on the template itself so that's always a good good option too you don't have to keep referring back to the um, pattern so it's a quick and easy little pattern the last page there's a advertisement for her new book stitch sewing organizers uh, it was released in June 2017 and it was published by stash books I'm actually um, ordering that book so I will possibly end up doing a review on it to show you what it looks like so that is the quick little pattern review that I'm doing today. As I said, it is a good little pattern. I probably would say an intermediate sewer would be able to sew this without a problem. An advanced beginner could give it a go and get through it without any issue as well. Um, and as I said, I use this for my makeup bag and I really do like the chunky zip that I've got in it. Um, and a few other people did comment on, on the chunky zip that was in it. So... Um, that is my review today on the open out box pouch I hope you really did enjoy that and if you did enjoy that review give us a thumbs up down below leave us a comment and tell us what you thought and have you got the pattern and did you um, have any issue or did you really like the pattern give us your thoughts on it as well uh, if you're new to our channel please hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it and that way you won't miss out on any future posts my name's Nicole Reed for Divinely Design Studio and I'll see you all again next time bye for now